Look, some things we just have no control over, and we gotta deal with it. Too often in lawn care, we harp on all those things that we can control. Like I did in a video, two videos ago, that I will link down below, all about beginner lawn care tips and those cultural practices that we're pretty much the boss of. Like mowing, fertilizing, watering, and weed control. But today on Budget Lawns, we're gonna talk about those factors that impact our lawn, whether it be for the good or bad, in this case, for the bad, and it's not our fault. I appreciate you being here. If it's your first time, thank you so much. I hope you'll consider subscribing. If you're subscribed already, nux to you. Hope you'll leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below if you like this video. It helps out the channel so, so much. Uh, look, here I, I often think that those uncontrollable factors go overlooked far too often in this lawn care community. And today we're going to talk about some of them going on in my lawn that will put things in perspective for you. So. We're about halfway through spring, I'd say. Uh, it's the first week of May, actually the first day of May. Some of us are full steam ahead, lawn's looking awesome. Some of us are not looking so great. And some of us are kind of in the middle. In the middle is where I would put myself. And I would put myself there, not because of anything I've done, because honestly, I have done virtually nothing to my lawn so far this season. Why have I done nothing, you might ask? Well, because the number one thing that's out of my control has prevented me from doing much at all. What you're looking at here has not been touched since I scalped it almost a month ago. It has not been mown. It has not been fed. Other than rain, it has not been watered, and I have done zero things to control any weeds. It has been a cool, wet, cloudy spring, not necessarily the ideal conditions for my Bermuda lawn to be in very good shape. But as you can tell from looking at it, it doesn't really look all that bad. Maybe to you it does, but to me, I see a lot more positive because really I'm in a better spot than I was this time last year. But I know the number one thing people are looking at, and I've talked about it a bunch, it's like a broken record, but the spring dead spots. Yes, I do have some. No, they're not as bad as they were last year. And I am still very optimistic. We won't look at them for near as long as we did last season. Last season, you may remember, this sucker was huge. Look at all the green coming through. I like it here. Yeah, this looks terrible right now. As you can see this little center patch of green, a pretty darn good indication. That is for sure spring dead spot. But look at all the other green coming through. Same on this one. But look, the minute we dry out a little bit, because yes, too much rain can be a bad thing at times, and we get more sunshine and more heat, these won't be around near as long this season as they were last year. And I've mentioned how I did not put a pre-emergent down this year to see what happens. I kind of think those are gonna help things along, as we talked about. We shall see. But another thing out of my control it's just the layout of the land. This area right here to the south, on this side of the house, just does not get a lot of sunshine in the spring, which Bermuda needs a lot of to really get going. And you can tell it's, it's lagging behind, still yet to fill in a whole lot. But as that sun starts shifting up further in the sky, this will take off a lot more not to mention, see a lot of bare spots in there, really. A lot of that is because I have a ton of worm castings throughout the lawn, and they're piling up right there. 
It's been so wet and moist, those worms are trying to come to the surface, and then when it rains, it beats it all back down, and it just doesn't look great. But I'll take the worm castings, because we know they're a good sign of good soil in the lawn. Speaking of all the rain, yeah. See the tiger stripes? They're everywhere. They are everywhere, and I will talk a little bit more about those as we meander to the back lawn. This side of the lawn, not looking bad, more tiger stripes. But another thing that's been out of my control, look at all the debris in the lawn. You know, from the rain washing a lot out. But this is all back on this holly bush to the super, super cold temperatures back in February. It really just blasted a lot of my landscaping shrubs and bushes really hard and those are still dropping leaves and every time it rains or those drop i am not running out here to pick them up ain't nobody got time for that i got i got other things to do this spot here too look at this completely bare again not much sunshine not going to do a whole lot until that sun shifts further up in the sky the back lawn okay look i mean i gotta tell you having done nothing it does not look bad at all Zzz, tractor beam though straight to the to the bit look how deep these things are to the tiger stripes look at that look we have had not just rain but flooding rains and lots of it I am not going to come out here and pick this stuff up every two days when it rains super hard. I just leave it. Will some negative effects occur because of it? Yeah, maybe. Maybe some discoloring of the grass. Are they going to be there all summer long? Absolutely not. But I tell you what these are a good sign of. They are a good sign of where the water is flowing in your lawn because you don't want that water sitting still when it rains. You want it to go somewhere. In my lawn, for example, it all flows that way to the fence and then down the side of the house to the street. And that's a good thing. So we can see where it's flowing here. Same thing off this one here. It comes off that back fence and it flows down this way out to the street really obvious here look at this no sunshine lots of rain pretty gunky but as we move further into the summer season the tide will turn trust me and the tide will turn on yeah all that poannua that you see it's everywhere all along this fence it's just been cool and wet prime conditions for that stuff to just go banana still without me mowing or weed eating along the fence line it's not getting cut down but trust me here in like a month it will be a thing of the past you won't see it i won't see it and all will be just fine but today we're going to have our first lawn care day kind of a, a normal one that's not a scalp it's just a mow edge blow. We're gonna get our first round of fertilizer in for the season and have some fun. But until next time, that's all I've got for you. If you got spots in your lawn that aren't looking so hot, just remember, it is a marathon, not a sprint. Everything will be okay. You got this. We'll see you next time.